Good afternoon, guys, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of Talking Balls. We are talking the matte finish wheelhouse tour golf ball. Three piece urethane, Chris. Three piece urethane. Urethane. I always get this wrong, apparently. Oh, urethane. I do apologise to anyone out there who I've caused offence to. But yes, a good ball we have used. We compared it on James's channel to the black ball, which we had before, which again, very difficult to see. But in comparison to other premium golf balls, again, very durable. £30 a dozen if you do buy or bulk buy you do get them actually cheaper so value for money very good again the matte finish is something James talked about on his channel where in the winter certainly scuffs up we can see that with James's golf ball quickly so here I have a Pro V1 that's being used and needs to be cleaned actually so I apologize for that but here I have a wheelhouse that I've just used straight away I've cleaned that it's lost its color it's almost like you put it against Chris's lovely luscious white uh, Peter Millar top you can see it's lost its colour, whereas the Pro V1 hasn't lost its colour. That may annoy people. Yeah, so very much like the Wilson Triad, which is one of the best golf balls we've tested all I year. I think it could be the best. I honestly do. I do think it was the best, actually. So it's a ball that also discolored. There was a matte finish and there was a standard finish. We, we both prefer the standard finish just because it didn't discolour and didn't look like you've had a million rounds with it after two holes. So what we're going to test here, guys, on my channel is... Again, showing how it is a three-piece urethane ball, so we should be able to control the flight. We saw on the previous hole on James's channel, although James duffed his shot, was able to flight the ball in. James was two under through three, mate. And we was able to keep it nice and low and control the flight. So we're gonna do that here. We've got 144 yards into the wind here on the seventh hole at Royal Waterfront. I'm gonna hit the wheelhouse first, then we're gonna hit, I've actually got a tailor-made RBZ that we found as we've drove around, so apologies if this is yours. But I'll leave it at the side of the green for you. And we're gonna show you the difference in how the different covers on the golf ball will make the ball launch higher and make it difficult or more difficult for you to control. So using different branded golf balls, different finishers is gonna massively affect the trajectory you can get on your shots. You can see already that's like an ionimer, I think. You can see how plastic it looks as opposed to urethane. Urethane. So wheelhouse first. Let's go in here, 144 yards. I'm gonna try and flight this in mid-flight. A little bit back in the stance. Just a normal shot. Just a normal shot. Nice. So launched exactly where we would expect if I was hitting a Pro V1. Did launch a little bit right, that was more me than the golf ball. Good divot, good contact. So there it's gone exactly what I expect from the golf ball that I would be using. So would I change to that golf ball? Yes I would. Again the cover might be something that we debate. Now for the RBZ. Got it started online better, it's going to be probably closer. It's gone a lot further as well. It's gone a lot further, we'll show that when we get up to the green. I'll show it now old boy, look at that, that was a great shot. But again, double the trajectory there, that's something that I wouldn't be used to. It's okay, it's my second shot so I was able to adjust a little bit, but not something I like to see a ball fight too high, especially coming into the winter. So James is up next. So I'm going to compare it against the Pro V1 because Probably, I mean, how much is a box of Pro V1s now? Nearly 50 quid? Yeah, we're looking at probably nearly 48, 50 pound a dozen. So the wheelhouse is 29.99 a dozen. If you buy them in bulk, you can get them cheaper. Almost half the price is a Pro V1. But if I can get performance out of them, I have tested them with driver over on my channel. So if you want to see that, check it out. But I'm going to go wheelhouse first. And again, just try and play a nice mid-flighted one. A little bit left, but that kind of ball flight I'm looking for that's going to land great ball flight nice and close there I will zoom in oh not the best zooming job I've done but it is just left of the flag so now pro v1 and again I'm just going to go for a similar ball flight and if it's the same result again the same shot, aren't they? exactly the same ball flight I will move and we'll show those two golf balls side by side yeah, the price difference is absolutely huge. Could you then save that money if you go and buy three dozen golf balls to last you the season? You might save yourself 60 quid, invest that in a lesson, lose less balls. It is a real economy. Think of that. Here, the wheelhouse ball a little bit short. You can see it's probably 10 yards shorter. It's had one big bounce and stopped. And that's with the spin because it was launching a little bit lower. You will see that from the shot tracers. The other hand, the RBZ 
probably that's stopped. landing angle that's done that would you say yeah it stopped quicker you can see by the pitch mark it is obviously a little bit deeper it's used a landing angle and that's why that stops so if you do use an rbz it is a ball you just have to be used to obviously it being a landing angle that you're working on not spin because we're not going to generate a much spin can james we just have a hand. word about these james can you hit the same shot twice well i can have a go for you chris the same shot twice so again shows exactly stopped just as quick landed probably exactly it did land just on the fringe i think yeah there's no there's no pitch marks here so i have landed it probably just on this fringe yeah and it skipped up but they've stopped exactly the same time they've probably landed within the same distance of foot on the fringe stopped very quick the wheelhouse is actually the closest so it shows it is holding up against the pro v1 magic i'm gonna play a 40 yard shot 45 yard shot here so up the green and James is going to be nice and aggressive with his 56 and try and get some spin we're going to see how quick these stop so again same cover same three piece construction right pro v1 first almost trying for just like one bounce and a stop into the wind pretty much stopped dead hasn't it i'm quite happy with that that's how i would expect a pro v1 to react i meant manage the nice low flight into the wind with a cheaper ball you can't do that but i would just go straight up in the air the wind would affect it more so can we play that same shot so we should be able to can we play it for nearly 18 pounds cheaper it's done okay it definitely went higher is that my technique is it the ball maybe a little bit of both but for me the pro v1 certainly felt like i was more in control but when you look at where they've finished for that price again if we are on a results business um can't really complain too much no and that's it and you think that is a little bit of confidence of you you know the pro v1 you've used it for definitely, years 100 percent, yeah and you can stand over it and be a little bit more positive so i'm gonna go similar than as james i've got 56 now I'm going to have to change, so I'm going to have to try and get more landing angle with the RBZ. I'm not going to be able to generate enough spin, so instantly there I've got to change my game to fit this golf ball. So this is where if you find a golf ball, you're losing a few Pro V1s, you find an RBZ and you want to just use it, you're going to have to adjust. So here I'm going to have to land this probably much closer to James's wheelhouse ball, rely on some landing angle. That is a great golf shot. So again, clipped it off nicely. Did exactly that I wanted. It landed and it ran out a little bit. I couldn't have caught that much better. But you see, it's very hard to judge. I've got to play a more higher tariff shot. I've got to be a lot more precise with that golf ball using this golf club. Is that the 14 bounce wedge as well? This is the 14 bounce That's helped wedge. you a lot, hasn't it? We'll explain that in a second for people that are wondering. So again, here now with the wheelhouse, I can try and play this a little bit lower. see there yeah best shot of the bunch launched very low caught it nice and clean one big bounce and then it checked up so you can see there the differences in the cover i could play different shots i could be more aggressive with one it may be a little bit more pricey than the rbz but actually think about the rbz the price point with the wheelhouse probably is, similar it's probably similar so look out for those kind of golf balls guys they can really help you improve because you're going to be able to play lower shots try and get more spin which in general is going to help you be a better golfer you're going to be able to develop your short game and when we're playing in the wind which we're going to do into the winter we're going to have a lot more control on that ball flight we shouldn't have as much deviation with how short or how long it goes into and down the wind so so guys if you have enjoyed that we are coming up with a new channel it's called get good at golf so it's all kind of tips from full swing to short game to putting to even a little bit of course management on there to help you improve at any level so go and give that a follow we're going to be releasing the first video once we get to a thousand subscribers We'll see you there.